Assalamualaikum and hi My name is Dana Aizat bin Zainuddin uh, 139.65 Numetric So today I'm going to start the video presentation of my group So the title of our action recent is Improve from three students speaking proficiency and edges PPIP in using storytelling method So based on this uh, title It shows that we are focusing on from three students Okay, next is our problem statement. There are two problem statements in our action research. First is mispronounce or fluency and misuse of English words, which is the accuracy in speaking English. Second, unable to produce a complete utterance while speaking English. This problem statement are facing by the students. Okay, for the next elements is research objective. We have three objectives in this research. First, to compare the accuracy level of speaking English before and after the implementation of storytelling method. Second, is to compare the fluency level of speaking English before and after the implementation of storytelling method. While the third one is to investigate the effectiveness of storytelling method in improving student speaking proficiency as you can see the first and second uh, objective is based on the student performance while the third one is based on the storytelling method itself okay let's move on to the next elements which is research questions we have five questions in this research First is what is the student's accuracy level of speaking English before the impl implementation of story method? Second is what is the student accuracy level of speaking English after the implementation of storytelling method? Third, what is the student fluency level of speaking English before the implementation of storytelling method? Fourth is what is the student's fluency level of speaking English after the implementation of storytelling method and the last one is what is the student's feedback towards the implementation of storytelling method in improvising their speaking proficiency as you can see based on these research questions is questioning the student performance before and after the implementation of storytelling method and how effective the storytelling method itself good morning doctor i'm jungkie and I'm going to talk about the theoretical framework of our research paper. First of all, we are going to use storytelling method to help students improve their speaking proficiency. And throughout the research, we found out that the storytelling method is closely related to the cognitive development of students. Basically, there are two theories that support the statement I made just now. The Jean Piaget's Cognitive Constructivism Theory and the Bandura Social Cognitive Theory. Let's talk about the first theory, the Jean Piaget's Cognitive Constructivism Theory. According to Jean Piaget, Cognitive Constructivism consists learning as a bottom-up process that is enacted by an active learner. Learning comprises successive and sp spiral stages in which a learner's intellectual growth is mostly influenced by personal intellectual activities, which he explores manipulates and understands his personal experience. Through storytelling, students construct new ideas and concepts based on their previous language knowledge. This process allows them to proceed beyond the story given and to interact with the environment by exploring and manipulating objects. Furthermore, it helps the students to develop speaking skills by reforming vocabulary sentence structures, grammar, and pronunciation during storytelling process. Next, the Bandura's Social Cognitive Theory. According to Bandura's Social Cognitive Theory, everyone owns a cell system which controls their thinking, feelings, motivation, and actions. People are the key elements in the exercise of control and personal agency. This theory emphasizes on learning through observation as well as the role of social experience on personality. 
The reason why we choose to implement storytelling method is because it is one of the observational learnings that can promote self efficacy. According to Bandura, observational learning through which people observe and imitate models they encounter in their environment, it enables people in acquiring information much more quicker. Students are most likely to be influenced by their peer through collaborative and cooperative learning. During storytelling process, students need the collaboration of their peers and teacher in creating meaningful context and negotiating meanings in their context. Thus, these two theories support our stand that the implementation of storytelling method can improve students' speaking proficiency. My name is Ling Xiaogong. Now I am going to present about Asian research model. In this study, we choose a Asian research model by Kurt Lewin. Kurt Lewin's approach of Asian research is a research method in which the researchers intervene in and during the research. This serves two purposes. Firstly, according to Kurt Lewin, it will bring about positive change. And secondly, knowledge and theory will, will be generated. His action research model involves four steps that work in a repeated, a repeated cycle or a spiral process. This cycle is related to our interventions, uh, interventions which is storytelling method, and this is why we choose this model. The first step in in the in the cycle of Kurt Lewin's model is planning. In this step, we identify the problems faced by uh, from three students in speak uh, in speaking English. Kurt Lewin stated that. Action, uh, action research must include the participations of those who carry out the work in the explorations of uh, explorations of problems that uh, that they identify. So we carry out a pretest to collect data on students' ability in uh, in speaking English. Next step in this model is action. This step consists of the executions of our uh, our interventions towards our respondents. After pretest is conducted, we executed our interventions by implementing storytelling method. The procedures commence by uh, in incorporating teaching and learning sessions in class. The third step in this model is ev ev evaluation. In this phase, a structure and a set of marking rules is important to assist, uh, assist the evaluating uh, process by us to analyze the impact of the implemented intervention. Hence, we set out an evaluating tool during this phase to evaluate the data that we collected. The last step in this border is reflection. We will analyze the effectiveness of our interventions and discuss the outcomes of the solutions implemented. That's all from me. Thank you. Good morning, Dr. Rabiato and my fellow friends. So I am Only Ming. I will going to present the intervention part for our group's re uh, action research on improving found three students speaking purposes proficiency in ages PPIP students in using storytelling method. So our objectives, objective of our, this intervention and also this res, uh, research paper is the first one to compare the accuracy level of speaking English before and after the storytelling method and the second one is to compare the fluency level of speaking English before and after the storytelling method and the third one is to investigate the effectiveness of storytelling method in improving students speaking proficiency so uh, this intervention is a one-way process where it took one month for the whole process so we will we actually start our intervention on the 14th of may and then we end this 
uh, process on 14th of June. So we basically start our intervention by preparing of the plan and then by writing the proposal and then by engaging the person in charge of ages PPIP to get their permission. And yeah, on the 18th of May, we have our first data collection which we carry out pre-test towards the PP, ages PPIP student that they are from three students. So and then we have a score sheet and then we have criteria there to evaluate uh, their speaking proficiency. After after that, we uh, the day after pre-test, we will have a four-day continuous um, speaking uh, speaking lesson which is on 19 until 22 of May so we will we go to we go to the ages PPIP center daily to for, uh, con, uh, daily within these four days to teach them expose them about the storytelling method which is really helpful for their speaking test as well uh, or oral test because there is a part which called talk about a picture story and then after four days exposure on how to uh, sp how to speak by using or how to uh, speak by using storytelling method and then we will have a post test the final assessment on how how they engage with the uh, method that we expose to them so we will have our so we have our post test on 9 29 of may where they've been given like one week to prepare for their test. So after that, we after we collect the data, and so that we after that we um yeah we just analyze our data on first of June until fourteen of June. We analyze the first set of data and the second set of the data, and then and then we see whether there is a uh, improvement from the first. From the first between the uh, from the first and first first test and the post test, so yeah, to see how effective this is and how uh, this method really help in students' uh, proficiency and accuracy in speaking English. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jia Qi. So now I'm going to present the instrument and the data analysis methods for our research. For instrument, we prepared three instruments for our research the pre-test, the post-test, and the questionnaires. We will ask students to do a presentation um, for the pre-test and the post-test. And, uh, and according to their um, grammar, vocabulary, um, pronunciation, and the uh, fluency, we will score their presentation from 0 to 10 which is very convenient for us to record and observe the, the speaking learning process um, of respondent. Then we will get more data by using questionnaires. The result from, uh, from questionnaires will assure the, assure the uh, validity and the um, reliability of the data increases. And we think that uh, these three instruments can help us to get a more uh, accurate and reliable result. So next one is data analysis method. Our research used the mixed method to analyze the data that consists of two parts, qualitative and quantitative. For qualitative method, we used the questionnaire to um, analyze the effectiveness of storytelling method in improving students uh, speaking skills and for quantitative method we choose the um, pre-test and the post-test to compare the students uh, speaking proficiency before and after the uh, implementation of the storytelling method um, then um, combine the result um, from the, these two methods, we can get a more strict and credible re result. So um, in conclusion, based on our research, we, can, um, we truly know the storytelling method is a very useful and helpful strategy um, in helping the students to improve their uh, speaking proficiency.
that's all from us and thank you very much.